So you are currently working on a symposium through CIIS, um, and the symposium is called Cultural and Political Perspectives on Psychedelic Science. What's the aim of this symposium, and can you talk a little bit about some of the topics that you hope to discuss? I, I think the main point of this conference is we want to bring to the forefront those conversations that normally happen in the hallways of the psychedelic science conferences, things that, that have not received a lot of attention. For example, access and diversity and inclusion in the field of psychedelic science. How can we expand access to other populations once this is legalized, and how do we include different uh, cultural perspectives, other topic that frequently rece receives very little attention is this, uh, you know, sexual minority and gender issues. What are the role of women in the field of psychedelic science? And uh, how do you accommodate LGBT populations and allies and friends and uh, kindred people into this field? What are their specific needs and challenges? How can we also create cooperative models with indigenous people as we study their substances, including on how to think, uh, think of ways of creating maybe cooperative research with the plant spirits themselves, if we take seriously the indigenous perspective by which these plants are in fact beings, they have their own agenda, uh, how can we cre create a kind of dialogue between us and them as we uh, you know, advance research, but at the same time, not to idealize that only indigenous people have their spirituality or their traditions, but there are also uh, parts of our own Western uh, traditions that have th their spirituality. So there's a, also a discussion on contemporary models of um, spirituality among mushroom users and this big flux or mix between drugs, food and nutrition, psychoactive properties and aesthetics and the production of culture, ecological movement. So there's a another set of discussions there. The whole role of social sciences and anthropology in this field. So there have been like historical figures in Mexico uh, since decades ago doing pioneering research. The work of anthropologists frequently are disregarded and you know, uh, misrepresented in the public debates about uh, psychedelics. So we have a, a whole panel about that, how to regulate uh, psychedelics and what are the models that we're thinking of. And of course, a big, you know, another part of, of the discussion as the field expands is MDMA and psilocybin uh, advance in clinical trials and we are headed for uh, possibly towards legalization, what are the challenges of psychedelic therapists? What are the specific opportunities, job and career opportunities for psychedelic therapists? Uh, but what's also what are their limitations? And finally, I think that the main complex issue to address is, is the larger issue of money, power, and capitalism. How do psychedelics combine with the current existing world? What are the perspectives with psychedelics? Where are we headed? Who are the people involved in creating trials? And what are, what are the methods by which this is going to be legalized? For whom? Under which conditions? Who is financing? Who is going to benefit from this? How much are the treatments going to cost? Who is going to have access? All of these are questions that there are not very clear answer. And we think it's important to ask these questions.